What's up, everybody? Welcome to episode two of the Valheim playthrough. The last episode, we were able to successfully defeat Eichthyr, which will now allow us to build our first pickaxe. Go ahead and make the first pickaxe out of the antlers of Eichthyr. Excellent. Now that we have the pickaxe crafted and equipped, it's time to head out and go take a look at what we can find in the Black Forest. Now, I do know in the first episode we stumbled upon a copper deposit already, so let's go ahead and check the map. Yep, it's pretty much just straight across over here from our little campsite. So we'll head over there first and collect all that copper as a first place to start. Alright, coming up on the location of that copper node that we found before. Oh, look at that, there's even some more carrot seeds here. You're gonna be stacked on carrots pretty soon. Here's the copper node. The cool thing is, it's mostly exposed already, so it shouldn't actually be that hard to go ahead and dig it all out. Let's get it to collapse on itself. So, we will start that process now. So we've got a good chunk of this deposit cleared out here. Fortunately, our pickaxe is broke. I think it's going to be faster just to set up a little temporary workbench here than it will be to be going back and forth to the camp. So, let's go ahead and do that real quick. Probably a bit of overkill for a little bench out in the middle of nowhere, but it'll work for now. It'll allow us to come in here and our equipment so we can keep digging out this copper ore. It is now the morning of day six. We've got most of the base of this copper node dug out. Just gotta find which areas are still supporting it, which I think is definitely this one. Perhaps even this one. Then we'll see if we can get the whole thing to drop down. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. Oh, it's so beautiful. It's so beautiful when it works. All right, let's go ahead and get all of this collected up. This should be enough copper to take care of us for a while. All right, excellent. So that copper node is now completely excavated. There is nothing left to be found here. We should have enough copper to get us through for a while. Once we find enough tin and salter cores to start refining it. Go ahead and take a look here. What do we get? 30, 60, 90? About 117 copper ore ready for processing. And also a ton of wood, some core wood, and a ton of stone. So all good stuff here. I'm gonna go ahead and leave it in the chest and we will head back to camp for now. Now that the mining is done, we have that whole copper node just waiting in a chest back for us. We got a little over 100 copper out of it, which is pretty good. Also a ton of stone and some extra wood. But now we need to start the smelting process, which means we're going to need to build a smelter. Which means we need some certling cores. So, first thing we're going to do is build a little bit more armor. Should have enough to make at least the helmet. Yep. And I think... For the cape, yeah, we're missing the bone fragments for the cape. So we'll get to that in a bit, but for now, we need to go get some certling cores so we can actually build a smelter and do something with it. So we're going to take our trusty club, head back out into the Black Forest, and start doing some dungeon diving. Well, it looks like this Black Forest might not be as deep as I thought it was. Pretty much hit the edge already, and I did find one troll cave, but 
no dungeons. However, on this little peninsula, there does seem to be a pretty good amount of tin. So we'll go ahead and pick that up while we're here. Alright, so now we're in here inside of our first dungeon. Luckily, two of the doors are closed off, so we just have to worry about this side. Couple of hits in, roll away. Ouch. These guys do still hit pretty hard right now. Let's see what we can find. A ruby? Oof. Oh, roll, roll, roll. Got two over the also with that one. And that one. I thought I was gonna kill him before he had a chance to hit me again. Alright, we are really low on health, so. Need to be careful. Also, it sounds like there might be a spawner here somewhere. I'm trying to look through the cracks in the doors. Obviously, there's a guy right behind the door there, but. I don't see the purple haze of the spawner just yet. Or the red glow of the cores that we're looking for. Take a look behind some of these other doors. Don't see much going on in there. Don't see much going on in there except for skeleton. Alright, our health is back up a little bit. Let's keep pressing forward this way. I'll pick up all these yellow mushrooms on the way back. Kinda like using them as markers. Oh, he's a one star. That's not good. I don't even know if we're hitting him. Roll. Roll, man. Roll. Alright, alright, alright. Out here to a little bit of a bigger room. Care of that problem. All that for nothing. Absolutely nothing. Okay. Let's pick these up so we know we've already been here. And I guess we'll pick this door. Another door. This sounds like there's a spawner real close here somewhere. Oh, another dead end. Nothing at all going on in here. Okay. Let's see what's behind door number three. Oh, we got an archer. Oh, we got an archer. Ah! Oh, come on, you gonna hit me? There you go. They're trying to tear down that door, huh? Don't like that. I don't like it. Need more food. And more health. Right, I'm just gonna sit here for a minute and let the health regenerate while they run away, I guess? Okay. Ouch. A lot harder to... Climb. Oh my gosh, there's a lot going on in there. There is a lot going on in there and I don't like it. Hmm. This could be bad for us. They're gonna tear down this door pretty soon. Really should have made a wooden shield. Ouch. Here. 
trying to get one of them pop out through the door again. Nope, almost had that one, I think. Come on. Come out here and fight me. Come on. Just want one of you guys, preferably not the archer. They, oh, they tore down the door. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, close this one. Oh, jeez. Okay. We're okay. I mean, we're not okay. We're actually in a pretty bad spot. But... We're okay-ish. We're not dead yet. That's the best we can hope for at this point. Which one's the archer? Come around. Come over here and fight me. Oh, I thought that was gonna grab him. Come on. Come around. I'll even take the archer. Just one of you guys get on this side of the door. There we go. Alright, we got this now. Easy. Easy. Alright, which door was that? that? This one? I think it was this one. Yeah. Don't see anything back there. Treasure chest here. For the ruby, always good. There's a lot going on over there. Not liking that door. Not liking it. Nope, that one. That one's much scarier. Oh, this one's also very scary. Oh my. Oh my, oh my. Hmm. Not liking our situation here. And I also just noticed our club's about to break, which is also not great. Might be a smarter idea at this point to head back home, make a shield, repair our equipment, Come back. We're gonna try taking a couple of cheeky shots at this while we're here and see what we can do about it. Ooh. Okay. Alright. If we can find some cores in here, that would be even better. Really? You're gonna give me. Okay. At least two. I was about three even. So you're only going to give me one? Right, there's one. Two. Three. I only need two more. But I don't think this dungeon's going to be that kind. Something gives me the feeling. Oh, that's a high-level high archer, isn't it? Oof. Is everybody in there a one star? It looks like they both are. I did see a core in there though. Well, what to do, what to do. Oh, we can eat more food, so let's do that. Oh, they are angry. Right, get away from the door. Get away from the door. Yeah, they're both. Both one star, and there's a third one in there. Oh my gosh. Okay. Let's see, where was... Wasn't there another door? That one's not great either. At least they're not one stars. Not seeing any orders in there though. It's definitely a core behind this door. Two archers in here? I think there's just one. Man, I don't like these options. And they're gonna tear down these doors here in a second anyway. Get away with sneaking around these guys.
Oh, I'm stupid. This isn't even the door that leads to danger yet. I feel like those other ones are going to break down that door any second now. Yeah! And these guys hit hard. Oh no. Oh no. Oh bad. Oh very bad. Okay. Where you going, guy? Where you going? Alright, oh, you lost track of us, okay. Oh, that's terrible. Oh, that's terrible. Oh, it's all bad. It's all bad at this point. Open, 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 open. Close, close, close. Ooh. Okay. Oh, very bad. Very, very bad. Ouch, ouch. Gotta be more careful than that. Oh no! Oh wow, the double tap. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Alright, we were we were being kinda silly, but that's alright. That one's actually not super far away from camp. We'll be able to make our way back there. Alright, back at the cave. Let's hope these guys aren't camping the entrance. Well, they kind of are actually, which is not not ideal. Grab our stuff. Oh he's inside. Oh he's inside. Oh this is bad. Oh get out. Oh get out. Oh my gosh. Oh the other one's out here somewhere. I saw him. Yep, there he is. Close. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Alright. Get our food back up. That's almost entirely all stamina. Not ideal. Not ideal at all. Ooh. That was scary. Oh, he's right there. I didn't even see him. I was looking at the other ones. Oh, far. That takes care of one. We got this guy in here. Oh my gosh, that hurts so much. Oh my gosh. Oh, we're not wearing our armor. That's why I was like, that seemed like it hurt more than it did last time. <laughs> That would make sense now. All right. Wait for a little bit of our health to come back, because I think he could still probably one-shot us right now. Oh, God. Man, this guy. Okay. This guy's a problem. Health is a problem. We need time to go by. I can replace one of our food with some meat. Alright, looks like he's lost aggro. And we can go ahead and eat some meat. Help with our health situation quite a bit. to get him active again so I can keep track of where he's moving around in there. Definitely need to make a shield before we go into our next dungeon though. That much has been proven. I think we got enough health to at least tank one hit. Things go bad. 
Didn't even hit him. That didn't hit him either. What is going on? That hit him. This door's not gonna last. Oh, I thought we could stun him. Alright, we got him. We got him. It's alright. Alright, we got a core in there. Make sure there isn't like a spawner or something up here. I'm forgetting we've already been down that way. One core. Is the game really gonna do this to me? It's gonna give me four when I need five. It is. It is really gonna do that to me. Alright, thanks game. Appreciate that. Made it back to base. Let's go ahead and craft up the hide cape. And the wooden shield. Should help us a little bit more during these dungeon adventures. And now that we've got a little bit more armor and we've got a shield, should make the next dungeon go a lot smoother. So let's head back out to the Black Forest and see if we can find another one. Found another dungeon here. This Black Forest is right at the edge of the mountain biome as well. See how this goes now that we have a little better equipment to deal with these guys. Well, immediately messed up the first parry. Got that one though. And these guys still hurt even through a parry. Probably because it's a pretty terrible shield, but. So let's jump into this. Crypt here and see what's going on. Hopefully things go a little smoother. Oh, and we're in the mountain now. Two doors that are already open. Not perfect. Not ideal. Not a whole lot going on down here though. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. That's not good. Oh, we're stuck on the wall there. Come back here. Oh, that hurt a lot. And we're poisoned. Okay, hold up, hold up, hold up. I don't know how bad this poison's gonna hurt us, but I think it's gonna hurt pretty bad. Not great. Okay, well, let's see if we can do this a little better this time. Dodging them. Getting those quick hits in. As long as we keep an eye on our stamina bar, it should be fine. There we go. It's a little disappointing those guys don't drop anything special, but. took care of that problem. Hopefully he was guarding at least one core. That's literally all we need. Hey, hey, look at this. Perfect. Gold. Some more cores. Why can't we pick up these cores? I mean, no. You mean... Drop that. That's fine. Alright, now what are we? Two cores away from being able to build two smelters. Pretty, I have a pretty good feeling we're gonna find two more cores in this dungeon. Let's see what was going on down here. Nothing? Alright. Let's take a look down the other path that was already open. Scary door. Scary door number two. 
don't see any cores in there. Now I'm just gonna, just gonna let them be actually. Let's see what's going on over here. One of you guys want to come out? Maybe? One of you? Maybe? No? Alright, you guys are being very weird. Oh, there they come. Nice. Oh, hello. Oh, there was a third. It's alright. Take care of that. Some more treasure, but no core. Come on, game. Just need two more cores. You already played me on the oh, on the first dungeon. Sounds like there's a spawner in there. Maybe not, but... Oh. Maybe a core there? Oh, gosh. Oh, you're coming out. Okay. Oh, that worked better for me than it did for you, I think. Oh, you're stuck on the door. Alright. Ow. More treasure. Open some space for that. Get rid of this. One corner. In one. Oh gosh. Oh good gosh. Kind of strange that a ghost gets stuck behind a wood door, but I'll take it. I think they're actually weak to fire, maybe? Oh, he is tearing through that door. I don't like that. Aim, fool. It's kind of rapid firing here. So I don't want to deal with that. <laughs> All right. Very good. Ah, he was guarding another core. Even better. Actually, even better would be the Elder location, but... We'll take the cores for now. Um, got ten. Guess we can drop this wood. Up the rest of them. Seems like a good trade-off to me. I do wonder if we could find the Elder Marker down that other path. But part of me wants to say, uh... We got what we need and we should leave. Come on through. Ow, not you. Two of them. Oh, jeez. Yeah, food back up. Stop hitting the door. Oh, that's so bad. Oh, that's so bad. <laughs> really got overzealous right there. Oh, oh, bad, 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 bad. Okay, yeah, let's be smart here. We got what we came for. We need to come back to look for the elder location. 
we know where this place is, and I don't think it's too, yeah, it's not too far away from base. It's a lot closer than the other one, even. It is the middle of the night. We are low on health, but I think we can make it back to base. So I think that'll be a good place to end episode two, actually. We are going to need to go ahead and upgrade our camp into a full starter home. So what I think I'm going to do is set up a second video for that, do kind of a build-along thing. So keep an eye on the channel for that to pop up between now and episode 3, and then when we jump into episode 3, we will move into the Bronze Age. Get all of that ore smelted up, get all of our new equipment crafted, and continue the adventure. Hopefully being able to go and defeat the Elder even. Quick shout out to everybody who has subscribed, liked, and commented so far. Appreciate all the support on the videos. Hopefully you guys are still having fun. I will see you on the next episode.